Hi, I'm Mr. Dan. Welcome to Monday Myths and Folk Tales. This week, I'll be reading How Raven Got His Crooked Nose, an Alaskan Denaina fable. This one's retold for us by Barbara J. Atwater and Ethan J. Atwater and illustrated by Mindy Dwyer. One really cool thing about this book that I like that makes it a little different from some of the other books that we've shared on Monday Myths and Folk Tales is that a lot of the artwork is very much like in sort of a comic book style. So if you like comic books, I think you'll like this story. All right, let's dive into it. How Raven Got His Crooked Nose. Again, thanks to Barbara and Ethan Atwater, Mindy Dwyer, and their publishers, uh, Alaska Northwest Books. Slow down, child, said Grandmother. It is better to take your time and do things right. Do you know the story of how Chulien the raven got his crooked nose? Granddaughter shook her head. No? Then sit, and I will tell you a sukdu. And here it says, sukdu means story. Once, Chulien had a very straight nose. He thought it was quite handsome. He was able to do many things with his straight nose. But Chu Yen was a trickster, and sometimes he did things that were not wise. Sometimes they got him into trouble. One day, Chu Yen sat above a little creek. Things had not gone as planned. Now he was suffering from a bad injury. How long have I been sitting here? Chulian ruffled his feathers. He was beginning to feel better. Then Chulian remembered. Kuruk! My nose! My poor nose! What am I to do? But how did Chulian lose his nose? asked Granddaughter. He would never say, my dear. Maybe he was too embarrassed, answered Grandmother. Chulian noticed the birch tree he sat on. He peeled off a curly piece of bark and placed it where his nose had been. When he really thought about it, Chulian did know where his nose was. Even though he often acted silly, Chulian had a way of knowing things. He had special powers. Yes, he knew where his nose was. But how would he get it back? The bubbling creek below Chulien flowed into a lake. A small village was nestled on the hillside above it. While Chulien was thinking, a cheetah, cheetah means old woman, a cheetah from the village walked to the beach to gather driftwood for her fire. As she reached for a piece of wood, she noticed something. Yada di, what is this? Brushing off the sand, she examined Chulien's nose. Hmm, this will make a good tool. And so she tucked it into her, into her ulkesa. Ulkesa means sewing bag. She tucked it into her bag. Cheetah found Chulien's nose useful for many things. She used it to clean the sides of a bowl of navi nivagi her favorite dessert. She used it to scrape her squirrel skins to make them soft and clean and ready for sewing. She used it to take the scales off of salmon before she filleted them. Yes, Chulien's nose was a wonderful tool. Cheetah used it so often that it was beginning to look a bit worn. I can see that it has some scuff marks on it. Chulian knew Cheetah had his nose, but he didn't know where she kept it. He had to find a way to get inside Cheetah's home to get his nose back. Kuruk! Kuruk! How will I do that? Chulian ruffled his feathers and made a decision. He needed to be in human form. With his special powers, he did just that. What else could
can truly undo? asked Granddaughter. You will see, said Grandmother. Next, Chulian found a beach near the village. He drew pictures in the sand. Have you ever done that? I love doing that. I did that when I was a little boy, and I still do that sometimes now that I'm grown up. I love to find a piece of driftwood and draw into the sand. Something tells me that when Chulian draws in the sand, it's going to be a little bit different than when I do it. Let's see. He drew so pictures in the sand. One, then another, and another, and another. Using his powers, Chulian spoke to his drawings. Be alive. A breeze rippled over the drawings and made them rounded and lifelike. Eyes opened. Fingers moved, arms lifted, and knees bent. They murmured to each other. Then, all at once, they stood upright. Julien called to them, follow me. I wonder what they're going to do. The group walked toward the village. Make lots of noise, crook, crook. Chulian wanted to scare off the villagers so that they'd run away. It worked. They did scare the villagers away. Cheetah ran away too. Chulian knew he did not have much time, for his magic did not last long. His sand drawings would disappear soon, and the villagers would return. He looked near the bowl of Nivagi. His nose was not there. He looked in the pile of squirrel skins. His nose was not there. He looked on the table with the salmon fillets. His nose was not there. Where could it be? As Chulian rushed around Cheetah's house, his magic began to run out. Where was his nose? The villagers were returning. Cheetah was close. At last, Chulian spotted the Ulkesa. Inside, he found his nose. Just in time, Chulian jammed it back on his face and flew away. Chulian was so happy to have his nose back. Kurruk, kurruk. Well, Chulian got his nose back, but if you look carefully, you will notice something a little different. It had become soft and worn from Cheetah's use. Because he was hurrying, Chulian did not notice, and because of his rush, he jammed it back on without a care. This is why Chulian has a crooked nose. It is always best to take our time and do things right. We may not get a chance to fix our mistakes, said Grandmother. Just look at Chulian. He still lives with a crooked nose. Dach Kidyuk. And that is what happened. I'm happy for Raven that he got his nose back even if it is a little bit crooked. Please join me again next week for the final Monday myths and folktales of our summer season. I'll be reading Tortuga in Trouble by Anne Whitford-Paul. Have a great week.